Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Corey back again with another video. And in this one, I've got the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact and the iPhone 6S. And in this video, I'm just going to be giving you guys my quick specs comparison between the two. Definitely two great smartphones that you can find in the market right now. And if you guys are looking to go out and purchase either one, you probably want to watch this video before you do so. So as I said, this is just a quick specs comparison, nothing too in-depth. Just to give you guys the basic, because I don't want to go into too much details and, you know, kind of long out the video. But it's just to give you a quick specs rundown between the two. So we'll go ahead and kick this off with the overall design, the weight and all of that good stuff. And we'll go ahead and start off with the Sony Xperia Z5 because it's actually my favorite one. Um, so the Sony Xperia Z5, um, it was released yesterday in the UK um, to a number of phone providers. And the handset itself is pretty nice. In terms of the design aspect, let's go ahead and start this off with the weight. Because it's really thin. Sorry, it's really nice to hold in the hand. Now, the phone is not too heavy and it's not too light. To be exact, it weighs approximately 138 grams and it is 8.9 millimeters thick, whereas the iPhone in the other hand weighs approximately 143 grams and is 7.1 millimeters thick. So the iPhone is definitely heavier because of that aluminium finish, um, but it is thinner than the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact. Now, you guys can see for yourself there how much thinner the iPhone is to the compact but with that said the, the compact is still actually thinner sorry not thinner it's, it's actually lighter to hold in the hands than the iPhone 6 6s so you guys can see there for yourself um, in terms of the build quality now the Sony Xperia Z5 compact design aspect is very nice as you guys can see on the right hand side we've got the Xperia logo there it has a matte finish design at the back which is nice very nice to hold um, and this will prevent you from actually scratching the back now if you got Sony Xperia Z3 or Z3 compact you know what I'm talking about the back of my Z3 right now is full of scratches because of that glass finish but now they've gotten rid of that and it has a nice matte finish design at the back and this nice design going around the handset also um, quick look around the handset we've got the we've got this little flip part here which comes out nicely and it's a lot more solider than the Sony Xperia it's a lot more solid than the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact um, it clips in nicely and that's where your SIM card nano SIM and your micro SD card goes at the bottom we've got the micro USB port for charging and a microphone as well on the right hand side we've got all the keys now we've got the dedicated camera key volume rocker and the power off and on key power off and on key you can now use it as a fingerprint scanner to unlock the handset um, at the top we've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack again with another mic and then at the back we've got that awesome 23 megapixel camera with a LED flash but the overall design aspect of the Sony Xperia Z5 compact is very nice um, I think it feels very nice in the hands the edges aren't too sharp like some Nokia Lumia's out there but it's, it's, it's very nice as I said, to have the fingerprint scanner here on the side, I think was an excellent idea because when I hold my phone, sometimes if I'm not holding it like this, I'm holding it like this. So that's just perfect to have it there. Now in comparison to the iPhone, now if you know of the iPhone 6, the design aspect of the iPhone 6, 6S is exactly the same, so I won't spend a lot of time on it, but it has that same aluminium finish at the back. You've got the volume rocker on the side, on the left hand side, along with that mute switch as well. Um, on the right hand side, we've got the power key, SIM card tray, um, nothing at the top, 12 megapixel camera at the back, along with the dual LED flash and a mic. And then at the bottom, we've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a mic and the charging port, and also a single speaker. Speaking of the speakers, the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact, I believe it has dual speakers, one at the top and one at the bottom. You can't really see it, but it's definitely there, and it's there at the top as well. So, as I said, in terms of the design aspect of the iPhone 6S, 6S is exactly the same thing. The fingerprint scanner is right there um, at the front, whereas on the Sony, it's on the side. So, that's the design aspect. In terms of the screen, 
or I should say the display definitely this part to me is very interesting because Sony is known to make some of the great some of the best displays on smartphone that's because of their their exposure to making you know some quality TVs they've now brought that same technology onto their smartphone so the Sony Xperia Z5 compact has a 4.6 inch display which is a 720 by 1280 um, pixels with a pixel density of 323 it also has the scratch resistance glass triluminous display with a X reality engine so you know the Sony Xperia devices when it comes onto the display you're going to find the best displays on a Android smartphone hence why they're the first manufacturer to bring out a 4k display smartphone which is included on the Sony Xperia Z5 premium but on the Sony Xperia Z5 compact we have a 720p display a nice pixel density of 323 it is scratch resistant it is a triluminous display with the X reality engine so when it comes to gameplay um, when it comes to watching high definition films when it comes to anything that requires a nice display the Sony Xperia Z5 compact won't let you down even though it's not a full 1080p display but for a 720p display on this size handset is perfect now in terms of the iPhone the iPhone has a 4.7 inch screen um, with a pixel of 750 by 1334 pixels 326 pixel density um, it also has a, a type of scratch resistance glass as well it also has 3d touch and display zoom now the 3d touch is one of the new and key features of the iPhone 6s and that basically gives you options of the applications on your home screen before you actually go into the application so for example if you wanted to take a quick selfie rather than going into your camera and then go and go into the selfie mode you can actually press and hold the camera icon on your home screen one second press and hold it okay all right so now Okay, so now it's not working. Sorry about this, guys. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. No. There you go. So you see, it's a bit tricky because normally on an iPhone, if you press and hold the app itself, it gives you the option to delete the app. But now if you press and hold it, it also gives you the option to take selfie, record video, record slow-mo, or take a standard photo. But let's try that again. So if you press and hold the camera, you see there the app starts to shake and it goes into the mode where it gives you the option to delete the application. If I press and hold it, again it takes, it goes into the 3D touch mode. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or something, but yeah, that's basically 3D touch. Um, it's a pretty cool feature definitely comes in handy at times where you don't want to go into your camera app and then search for the different camera modes you can just go ahead and press and hold the app and it will give you the option straight from the home screen but bear in mind that sometimes it may not work now in terms of the the overall performance of the handset the Sony Xperia Z5 compact is running on the latest version of Android it's running on Android 5.1.1 lollipop um, and to be honest it's been smooth since I've had the phone I've not had any problems with it so far but it is running on Lollipop it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor which is a quad-core processor clocked in at 1.5 gigahertz it also has another another quad-core processor um, with 2 gigahertz, 2 gigahertz Cortex A57 with the Adreno 4 30 GPU as well so in terms of gaming and graphics again the Sony Xperia Z5 compact won't let you down um, you also get the option as well to play your PS4 games on here as well you can also connect your PS4 or PlayStation 3 control pad to the handset and play your games such as um, such as any car games or most car games you can find in the Play Store none is coming to my brain right now but games like Dead Trigger um, Need for Speed I believe Need for Speed, Asphalt 8 games like that you'll be able to play with the control pad so you can definitely do more in terms of the in terms of gaming when it comes to the Sony Xperia 
Z5, you won't require a lot. If you already have a PS3 or PS4, you can use that control pad, connect it to the phone and go ahead and start playing your games. So in terms of the overall performance, it's definitely one of the best that you're going to find on the market. Let's bear with me one second. Uh, computer is not working. Yeah. Um, so it also has 2 gig of inbuilt RAM and also 32 gig of inbuilt storage but you can also expand that using a micro SD card up to 200 gig. As I said it comes with 32 gig of inbuilt storage and we can actually go ahead and see exactly how much storage we get with your new handset because obviously for software reasons you're not going to get that full 32 gig. So you can see there the Android operating system takes up 9.42 gig and you get available 21 gig out of the box which again is still good still can install quite a few apps and you can also add a micro SD card up to 200 gig um, quickly the iPhone has a the A9 chipset from Apple which is a dual core 1.8 gigahertz um, chipset which is pretty powerful um, if you're familiar with the iPhone in terms of performance it's always known to be good um, because the software or the operating system doesn't require a lot of power it has the iPhone itself has the power V power VR GT 76 GPU 6 core graphics so when it comes to graphics again on the iPhone it's definitely going to be a excellent choice when it comes on to the graphics now in terms of the internal storage this is where it lets me down because I don't understand why I make a phone with 16 gig that record videos up to 4k resolution and stuff like that um, so the iPhone 6s comes in three different variant it comes in 16 gig 64 gig and 128 it also has 2 gig of RAM like the Sony Xperia Z5 compact um, but in terms of the storage variations, I don't understand why Apple went for a 16. Well, I do understand why they went for the 16, 64, and 128. The 16 gig is only there to push um, customers or consumers out there to go ahead and buy the 64 gig rather than the 16 gig. Um, that's the main purpose of them selling a 16 gig handset because to me it doesn't make any sense. Quickly going over the cameras. Now this is where it's going to get really interesting because the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact has a 23 megapixel camera which is 5520 by 4140 pixels. The iPhone on the other hand has a 12 megapixel sensor um, which is 4608 by 2592 pixels so you definitely have a lot more pixels on the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact that's pretty much down to the 23 megapixels um, camera which can be found on it the iPhone has a dual LED flash whereas the Sony has a LED flash you also get geotagging touch focus face detection HDR on the Sony Xperia Z5 Compact you get the exact same thing on the iPhone 6s um, you also have the H HDR photo and all of that good stuff you can also record 4k resolution on the iphone 4k resolution videos now on the iphone um, which is new to the iphone users but this is something that sony was doing a little while now you can record 4k videos on the z5 compact also you can record slow motion videos on both handsets the sony has a 5.1 megapixel front facing camera whereas the iphone now has a 5 megapixel front facing camera both of which can record 1080p videos so if you're someone that uses your phone for skype calls or anything like that definitely these phones won't let you down and last but not least is the battery sony xperia z5 compact has a 27 100 milliamp battery whereas the iPhone has a 17 15 milliamp battery with the Sony you also get loads of power saving modes on the handset so you're not limited to what you can to what you can do when it comes to the power saving mode on the Sony Xperia Z5 but as I said this is my quick specs comparison between the two um, if you guys would like to see any other comparison between any of these handset please leave a comment down below um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.